to you all and welcome to another one of my videos. Uh, this time it's gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be kind of a gameplay video. As you can see at the sign, we're in Ravenholm. Ravenholm is a location in Half-Life 2. And Half-Life 2 is of course one of the best games ever made. At least single player games. Um, as you can see, well, they, Alex, one of our friends in Half-Life 2, <laughs> don't want us to kill his Raven home. And why is that, you think? So that little guy right there? That's right, everyone's fucking dead. Why I chose this particular mission is, well, you saw it right there. You just got your gravity gun, and it's probably the best area to use it. There's a lot of these kind of tanky thingies. And what happens is... If you shoot him, they start they start a fire. And of course, you got these circle chainsaws. I don't know. You can just splice them in half, which is also awesome. And one of the stupid things is are these creepy face huggers. Oh, this guy is cool. This guy is awesome. Could be on a talk show. Jay Leno. I don't know. I'm just gonna play a little bit of this mission. It's it's one of my favorites, and Half-Life is one of my favorite games. Yeah. So perfect combination. Well, one of the things I really like about Half-Life is how they it's so, such a clever game. Like especially with the, with the gravity gun, it's it's just awesome. Things you can. It's more of a puzzle game than a shooter actually. As you can see here, these spinning things, they kind of resemble a fan. And you'll see a couple of cool things happening with those fan, funny thingies uh, later on. As you can see, you can just splice them in half, like you could do with the chains, chainsaw circle. I don't know, I'm going to say thingy a lot today. Of course, you can just shoot these things, these uh, wooden things. <laughs> oh, I'm really good today with your gravity gun. It's just one of the awesomest guns ever. It's, it's such a clever, clever gun. It's really awesome. And here you can see what I meant with spinning the fan. You can see there are a couple of enemies. And what you do, you crouch and you shoot. Come on. But it is possible they are blocking the fan, so I have to move. Should be looking much cooler. Come on. That's better. So that's how you do it. Uh, of course, what I'm looking at every cranny is to find those lambda signs. Lambda, I don't know. It's Greek. It's Greek letter. And you get an achievement if you find all of them. But you gotta find, I think, four, 45? Yeah, it's 45. Of course, here you can see the good old exploding barrel. That's been around for a long time. <coughs> Excuse me for that. I've got a little bit of sore throat. And I could just shoot these guys. See here? Oh, I love this. But there's also an achievement for, uh, I think, completing the whole Raven. Whole, uh, every whole mission with only your gravity gun. So I don't know if they actually count me shooting at a barrel or something. That would be that would be stupid. I didn't, I didn't really use the gra uh, excuse me, I met with a pistol or a shotgun or whatever. That would be just stupid. So I didn't actually use it to kill the enemy. Well, in a way, but you know what I mean. Of course, you can just drag these barrels and just shoot him back at the enemies. Which is also kind of cool. And here we have a meet up with our friend. have no idea who he is. Yet. Let's find out. Come on. Uh, is this? Oh, I'm waiting for you to talk. Another life to save? I'll keep my eye on you. More than that, I cannot promise. Okay, thanks for your speech, fella. 
So here you can see all those corpses burning out. And you can see our lovely friend. What you do is you turn off this valve, you turn it back on. You can see, if you, if, if you actually look at it, you can see all the gas. And if you shoot anywhere near the gas, or well, in the wrong spot, it hits fire. So, on to the next one. Actually, here. What the hell am I doing? Oh, whatever. Same, same uh, thing here. Just turn it off. But then you see, oh, there's a lot of enemies around here. Stupid of me. Oh, I already turned it back on, so. It's kind of stupid. I'm waiting for one enemy. I'm gonna kind of clusterfuck, so I, I have to. Ah, uh, stupid. And he's throwing. What the hell was he throwing? Listen, you've got another one here. Just turn it on. I don't know why I did this. It's completely useless. Oh no, I'm gonna kill someone. BAM! An engine block to the face. Didn't even turn it back on, you stupid. Ugh. Come on. Come on. Oh, that was that was stupid. As you can see, it's kinda like an oasis. Just gotta wait and BAM! Shit hits fire, man. Oh, that hurts. Of course, oh. <laughs> that was stupid, I mean. I forgot to turn it. I forgot to do it on the other side, so now I gotta walk through the fire. Too bad for me. It's a little sprint. I didn't lose that much health. Okay, so on to the next one. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me again. I really have a sore throat. Ta-da! So, now I'm just gonna turn off the valve here. There it goes, fire. As you can see, these corpses are great. Especially in this part of the game, Half-Life has a nice, creepy style. And you enter this building. And I'm there are a couple of enemies. I'll probably be doing it wrong, but... There. I hurt myself. Story of my life. Wow. That's a lot of... That's a lot of... Uh, Excuse me. A lot of cabinets. A lot of closets. On one stair. Yeah, I, I got. I gotta get have this one perfectly. It needs to be there. Not really, but that's what I like. I just hit. Come on, seriously. I shot the freaking chainsaw in the stairs. A stone stair. It's, uh, excuse me, a stone staircase. What the hell am I doing here? Oh. Now I remember. Bam! Shit hits fire, as I said. Another one. You just gotta hit him in the face. Because basically that's all they have. A face and four legs. Oh, another one. Just gotta watch out it. Like I did right here. Ah, that's okay. There's a reason why people lie. It's because they're stupid, like me. I missed one. Just gotta go up these stairs and cut him in half. Too bad for you guys, they're already dead. They've probably just been refired or something, I don't know. You gotta keep up with the story, really. Half Life's got a cool story. But of course, you need to play the first one, kinda. Otherwise, you won't be really interested. Unless you, unless you really put your mind to it. It's just, it's, it's a very cool game. Oh, this time it's smarter. See? Everything's burning. Including that stupid face hugger. I hate those things. Everything that's small and you have to hit really precisely is a, uh, I just hate him. <laughs> and here I just wake up this, uh, kind of zombie thing. I'm hitting it with, 
with a big tank. A, I don't know, a propane tank, something. As you can see, there's a lot of blood. They really had a, had a wild party here yesterday. Now they're all sleeping out on the floor. And everything's full of blood. That sure is a party. Are you kidding these? Killing these, uh, I don't know what they are in it. I mean, they're just face hoggers. Oh, <laughs> this is awesome. You can just grab the uh, radiation. Radi is it radiation? Fuck it. Turn off the valve. You can just take closets, which are a gravity gun, and kill spiders with them. Little, well, I know they're kind of face hoggers, but. I call them spiders for the moment. So next time you see a little spider in your room, you just grab the closet and throw it at him. He has the whole closet. You motherfucker. Um, I'm so, uh, so sorry. <sighs> These things are annoying as hell. So I pick up a barrel and shove it up his face. I should kill him. Dead people. A car. A little road. And now we can go on. We can finally go on. So we turn off the switch to all the electricity, including electricity in this little area. And we meet up with our friend again. Well done, brother. Hello, Mr. Friend. Behind you! What? What? Oh, thanks. In Ravenholm, you do well to be vigilant. See ya. Bye. Kate, thanks. Bye.